Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Good News Daily Show. We're going to be jump-starting our day with the Good News Daily, our prophetic messenger written by our men and women of God, the highly esteemed Prophet Ubit Angel and Prophetess BB Angel. So you must be asking yourself, where do I get a copy? Well, if you go to www.goodnewsworld.com, you can, you can click to the, on the store and then you can get a copy. You can download it and you can have a copy right now. So, today's the start of a brand new month and I'm so excited because that means we can declare things in our lives. So, this is a free copy, remember, so you can have it right now. So, we're going to be declaring things in our day today. So, why don't you turn with me to December 1 and the title for today is Name Above All Names. Our scripture reading for today is Philippians 2 verse 10. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things on earth and things under the earth. When the Bible says, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, I need you to understand the language of scripture. Notice it didn't say, shall bow. Oh no. This is not a promise, but a present day reality. And when you read that passage in the original rendering, the word should is a phrase used in legal terms. So when the Bible says that every knee should bow, it means that all things in heaven, earth, and under the earth have been given the statutes by which to operate. And that is the name of Jesus, they should bow. Should bow is not a negotiation. They don't have a say in the matter. So whatever it is that you are going through today, whatever it is that you are facing today, I'm telling you that those things should, will only bow to the name of Jesus. They cannot, they cannot put you under. Why? Because we have that authority in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus is as powerful as the person of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, we were granted the power of attorney to use the name of Jesus in the affairs of life. I'm telling you, whatever it is, it bows to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That means you can never be disadvantaged. Never, never disadvantaged. That is why the scripture says, whatever you do, do it in the name of the Lord. At that level, everything in your path has to bow to the authority that has been invested in that name, the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what you may be facing today. You have the authority to rebuke that sickness in the name of Jesus, to speak life into your ailing marriage. Take charge of your destiny today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I really enjoyed that and I hope you did too. You see, we are declaring things into our lives. The authority of the name of Jesus is the authority that we walk in. You see, we are surnamed by the name of Jesus. That means, that means we have that right to walk and to live and to use the name of Jesus and to see things change in our lives and to get them to bow, every situation to bow to the name of Jesus and to his authority. So we're gonna get into the prophetic declaration for today. And I want you to shout out loud with me because you are speaking into your life. So our prophetic declaration Divinity is tabernacled in my physical body. I'm a new creation, not subject to the elements of this world. I live the transcendent life. In the name of Jesus, I reign over sickness, over disease, over poverty and lack. Hallelujah, glory to God. I really hope you enjoy that. You see, you are a winner. Why? Because we walk in the authority of the name of Jesus. Today you are winning. Today you are living over and above situations and circumstances in your life. Hallelujah. So if you want to do some more study over this topic, so keep thinking over what we've just what we've just read, over the declarations that we've made, just ruminate over them. But I want you to do a further study. And you can get that from Colossians 3, verse 17. And you'll get to learn more of what the Bible says. So anyway. Sadly, we are out of time, but we are never out of the good news. Um, and remember again, go to www.goodnewsworld.com and get your free copy. It's waiting for you right there. So until tomorrow, bye-bye. Good News World with Hubert Angel. Provoking a reaction and always worth hearing.